Right, so we want to investigate when we can flip the inequality. So let's first start with the number line. I've got a pink dot on negative 6 and a purple dot on positive 2, and you'll notice that the pink dot has a value less than the purple dot. It's to the left. Okay, so what happens if I add 2 to each number? You move over 2, they each move over 2, so pink will still be less than purple. Okay, well what if I subtract 5? Well, they both move over 5, so they both go over the same amount, so it still is going to be pink is less than purple. I'm just going to recenter the dots. What if I multiply these by 2? So if I take the negative 4 and I multiply it by 2, and I take the positive 1 and I multiply it by 2, you'll notice they move away from each other. So when they're moving away from each other, the pink is still less than the purple. Recentering. Okay, but what if I multiply by negative 2? Is this going to make an impact? What you'll notice is that your number line starts at 0, and then it has positive numbers increasing to the right, and then your negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, are actually getting smaller as the absolute value increases. So when I multiply by negative 2, my negative number becomes a positive number and my positive number becomes a negative number. So now my purple value is less than my pink value. So when I multiply or divide by a negative, it causes the dots to switch to the other side of the number line. And on the other side of the number line, the smaller number is now the bigger number.